Yes, Antoine Martin in Jaws a few years ago now, but that was a heavy, heavy takedown. Oh, man, nasty. I always remember watching that and thinking, if that happened to me, I'll be done. I'll be totally done. Uh, and we kick off uh, this week's Send It Sunday with that because it's been massive everywhere. Yeah, we obviously had Sweden last week being massive. I think we missed this shot, but i got to put this in, yeah. Um, but France this week. Did you see the video? No. Well, here it is. Check this. This was in France uh, this week. Steph video. If you don't follow him on Facebook, it's worth a follow because he's always there or thereabouts when the action is going down. Obviously, Thomas Traversa is there. It's a storm. Of course he's there. And he was hitting some fat ones. Yeah, that big floaty aerial at the end. Perfect, mate. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Uh, Thomas Traversa written all over it. If you just saw a blackout of that, you'd go, yeah, Thomas Traversa, for sure. Uh, I also heard the Polish crew. Yeah, uh, I saw a post from Nikodem. Uh, Maciek Rakowski, yes, our podcast host, uh, was over there. And they scored some pretty fun conditions. They missed the big day. Yeah, it was a tactical, was it? It was a tactical. I don't know, because if you've watched the podcast this week, Maciek has rode jaws. Yes, he has. If you haven't checked out the podcast, check it out. I reckon it's worth uh, it's worth a look. But yeah, like I said, the Polish uh, boys like scored some fun conditions in France. Uh, but I also uh, got sent some pictures of an unknown rider to me anyway. Uh, check out this guy on the Nash. Yeah, this is massive. I'm guessing it's Breton or around that uh, place in Brittany, France. And he is charging some pretty big waves, man. Full sender. Full sender. Uh, and speaking of Nash, I did get sent this as well. Yeah, Nash sending it uh, over in Maui and getting it all wrong. I think this was on the Kona day. Uh, they've had some Kona wins recently and he got that a bit late, almost like a forward off the lick from the old boy. Yeah, he also had some good hits as well. Don't worry, uh, Robbie Nash, he's still got the magic. Uh, the other boys as well, I saw a sick tabletop um, off the lip. I think I saw it on Jimmy Hep's pictures. If you don't follow Jimmy, follow Jimmy. He's always there or thereabouts. And the fish bowl guys as well the fishbowl diaries they had some sick stuff from the water that tabletop as well but there was just some real nice stuff going down and on the normal direction as well they had a big swell come through i uh, saw some great shots again kevin pritchard was up there doing his massive aerials ricardo campello obviously marsilio brown i mean he's gonna be in the mix and adam lewis who has been locked down in maui not a bad place to lock down i've heard he's, he's staying there for maybe a few years now Bloody hell. But he had a pretty tasty looking aerial. Uh, and I spoke to him on the chat and I was like, that's looking good, mate. He goes, yeah. Did you see the ending? I was like, no. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently landed and just exploded on him. Exploded on him. Um, and you've got to see this. Okay, so this is Bernd Rodiger. Yeah, uh, you know Bernd Rodiger. Yeah, he used to be ex-Nash. Um, check out this for the great escape. Yeah, this is halfway through. Now, you are thinking at this point, there is no way in the world he could sail away from that. This is mid-360. And then as the sequence goes through, you're like, you are joking me. You are joking me. He was literally gone and just pops up. Nice, mate. Nice. Yeah, there were some other good shots from that day as well, though. There were some other good shots. There's so much. So check out the Fishbowl Diaries, Jimmy Hep, for all the action that's going down in Maui at the moment. But no sign of Kai Lenny. Where was Kai Lenny? Well, if you've been following him, you'll know where he was because he was taking this mother on the head. Yeah, he was over in Nazareth. Apparently that wave, I think we've got the shot from before him riding that wave and then obviously ends up in the water and takes that one on the head. It snapped his board into three pieces or something. He said his 10 kilo like gun is fully solid board that could never be broken in pieces. And it looks like Nazareth and Portugal just going crazy. Obviously not windsurfing, but just some massive, massive waves coming through. Yeah, unfortunately, my sails didn't turn up because I was planning on just going up there and tagging a few. <laughs> 
No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Uh, I've also heard the Canaries has been going good uh, up north, I've heard. Uh, Josef Pons has said he's going up north, so expecting a few videos from him. I did get one video he sent me a while ago where he got this little uh, takedown. Yeah, nice one, Ponzi. Nice one. We've also heard Danny Bruce is back on the water. He's had a pretty hard going year this year with his, his son, Danny Jr. But like I said, back in the game now and good news for the Bruce family. So looking forward to seeing some action from uh, Brucey coming up soon. Um, what else have we got? I tell you what, I think now is the time we've got to go to the guys at home. Yes, you guys and what you've sent me this week. First up, we're going to Australia. Yeah, mate. And we're going to Melbourne. Check this. Yeah, this is a loadie heading out. What's she got for us? <laughs> that is nasty. That is nasty. Let's check that again. Yeah, just catches the wave on the takeoff. She's still hooked in. You kind of lose her for a minute in the water and then she's just wrapped around the boom. But I can laugh. You know why? Well, look at the smile on her face. Yeah, that's how to take a send. When it first happens, there's an initial bit of shock. You can see almost like checking herself. Yeah, that fin feels okay. I can smile now. <laughs> That's epic. I also love the run-up as she's coming in. You hear a little bit of like a woo. Yeah, that is an absolutely epic send. Apparently it's been going off over there. She had four days of 30 plus knots of wind and this was the first day. So apparently it did get better. Uh, but good news is she was wearing a helmet. Yes, it does help. But I don't think it would have helped this next guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is Maxime over in France with the over-rotated back loop. Oh, yeah, you can see he goes up, he sends the board. It's always dangerous sending the board, guys. You can't send the board. Anyway, sends the board and then the board goes over the top and you just impending doom. It's going to happen. And he comes around, smashes his chin on the back of the boom. Three stitches, yeah, three stitches. Would a helmet have helped? Probably not, probably not. So get well soon, mate. That is a full, full send. Um, so I say a helmet wouldn't have helped. So what could he have done? You know what he could have done? He could have bailed out. Did someone say bail? <laughs> yes, it's a tedious link, but we're in to spot the bail this week. We announced the winner of last week's spot the bail at the end, like usual. It was Gentle Cares, obviously. Uh, we will, like I say, tell you what number it was. But if you want to get involved with this week's send uh, spot the bail, just put the number which bail you think it is. And if you remember, and we will do the prize draw next week, can you get the chance to win a lovely send it hat or a windsurfing TV? hat. Okay, so what picture have we got this week? Well, we got sent this one. Yeah, even Newmark over, I think, in Cape Town. It looks like Big Bay. He loves Big Bay, Ivan. So this is the shot. You know what's coming here. Uh, it's quite a long time ago, but it's a classic bail, so we thought we'd feature it. Um, we've got seven options. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, so is it number one? <laughs> Well, it looks plausible. Yes, it does. Um, is it number two? <laughs> I see. It could easily be number two as well. Um, is it number three? Well, yeah, it actually looks like number three as well. But is it number four? <laughs> you know what? It definitely could be number four. Um, but it also could be number five. It could, couldn't it? It totally could. Um, but it also could be number six. It, it, it looks like number six. Surely it's number six. Or it could be the last one. Is it number seven? <laughs> Yentel cares, mate. He gets everywhere. He gets everywhere. So there you go. Uh, one to seven. That's your options. Which one is it this week? If you remember, don't forget to push member because as you'll see at the end, we did have a winner who 
said the number, but he wasn't a member or he didn't write member. So he doesn't win. He goes to the next person. So it's important that. Uh, and don't forget, you can send your bails in. If you've got a glorious bail, we have had a couple sent in, which will be coming up in uh, future weeks. But if you think you've got the picture to make it on to spot the bail, it could be you. So send it at windsurfing.tv. And plus, you know, all the usual sends. Um, we've had a few people this week sending some stuff. So... I want you guys. I want you guys. We've also got to thank the sponsors. TheMailingRoom.com. Yes, a sponsoring Send It Sunday for another year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what else have we got sent in? Well, you know who sent it in? This. Sexy motherfucker. <laughs> yes. Now, you're not going to get any tan lines with them tangers. <laughs> that, is, that is a nasty, nasty setup. You know who you are. Come on. If you do know who you are or you know who it is, in the comments below, because I actually don't know who it is. This was sent in by Siggy. Uh, I met Siggy actually in Cape Town uh, this year, beginning of this year in February. Got a lovely picture with him. Hi, oh, Siggy. <laughs> and he is a full sender. Um, Eagle Wing. What? 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 I'm not sure Eagle makes that noise, but that is a flipping tasty Eagle Wing. Also got the stall forward in his bag. Yes! You sender, Siggy. When I met him, I didn't realise he was such a sender. Nice work, mate. Nice work. Uh, so how do we follow Siggy? Well, I'll tell you how we follow it, because that stall forward has just been upped by Anton Payne. Yes, Anton Payne. That is such a great name for a sender. <laughs> and I know Anton really well, because I was helping him with his early push loops. Well, he has gone next level now. Check out this for a run. Yes, yes, yes. Plain in pushy into store forward. Bosh, bosh. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. That is full send mode. You could just see it in his eyes. He's been pumped. Uh, he also sent us another store forward, which looks pretty tasty. And then you look in the back, there's another sender on a mission. Yeah, yeah. And he's had a few of them push loops, the plain in ones. It's not like a one-off. He looks like he's really comfortable. Um, but it doesn't always go like that, does it? No, it doesn't, Anton. Check this. <laughs> he landed on the board. You can't quite see it on the angle, but you can hear the noise in the background. I think he let go because he was under rotating. Just lands on the board. Ouch. Okay, so we've had a couple of wave sends. We've had a couple of jumps. Now we're going to the lakes of South Africa. And this is Gerhard. And he is in full send mode. Yeah, look at this. This is the Arrows Tomahawk. I had a set of these. These remind me. Take me back. I'm not joking. Sputnik 265 World Cup edition. And those Tomahawks, I used to absolutely love it. Bala Lake. Anyone remember that? You must be a couple of you out there. Anyway, back to Gerhard. He is full sending it. Um, and then it got a bit loose. Ooh. <laughs> Getting a bit of walk and then. Oh, that's a, that's a bad one, isn't it? That is a bad one. Um, but you want another angle? You want more? Well, Gerhard's got the GoPro as well. Check it out. <laughs> nah, that looks nasty from the GoPro. He's all tangled up in that boom. Full sending though. We absolutely love it. I think it deserves a... Oh, that looks Whoa. painful. Um, and next up, I've got... Well, we've got a blast from the past. Anybody remember this? Sinbad the Sailor. Simbad the Sailor! <laughs> I saw the name Simbad and I tell you what, my brain was like, sure there was a movie or something like that. I'm not that old, but I, I seem to remember it. Uh, and the gay adventures of a, what is it? A, a... Sinbad, gay roving vagabond of the Arabian Nights. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what it says in the movie. Anyway, Sinbad has been having some adventures of his own. The new Sinbad, that is, this Sinbad, uh, and his mate Toby. They were in Tarifa, uh, and Sinbad was slowing down, waiting for his mate to catch up. And then this happened. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like much, does it? It doesn't look like much. But then you see it from Toby's angle. Oh, I got a proper tag on the arm there from Simba the Sailor. <laughs> You, that's it. Retaliation is coming, I've heard. Toby needs to get his own back. Just make sure you've got both cameras on, mate. I want to see the retaliation. What's going to happen? Uh, but cheers for sending that in. Um, and next up, I think we should start a new feature because um, there's a lot of guys around my age and a bit older who have obviously had kids. I'm talking about ex-professional windsurfers and professional windsurfers, and they're getting older. Yes, they are. Now, I could name a few, Robbie uh, Swift. You know, kids are getting older, they're windsurfing. But I just got sent this from the guys at Fnatic. Now, this is Klaas Vogit's five-year-old uh, little fella, um, Teba. Yeah, Teba. Now, check this. He's five years old. He is absolutely sending it, jibing tacking he is flying around it looks like he's on a sup like a small sup with that fanatic rig but he is absolutely ripping five years old God, i don't even know if i could walk it okay i could probably walk but you know five five he is going to be such an absolute ripper it's untrue now there is lots of other ex or not ex like sorry ex-professional sailors but sailors that are still in the business or around the business Nick Baker, you know, all the sons are getting older and older. There's going to be this crazy competition one day with all these ex-sailors, obviously Bjorn Dunkerbeck, you know, Liam Dunkerbeck, he's a lot older now, but there's, there's just such an amazing generation of sailors coming up. So if you're a young kid out there, you are you're in the business. You're in the business. Don't you worry. It's going to be going off. Uh, OK, I'm going to stop talking because we've got one more clip before the end of Send It Sunday this week. And it's coming all the way from the well-known wave spot of Estonia. Yeah, this is Christian coming up for the aerial at uh, Rista. <laughs> a little bit late, mate. A little bit late, but we love it. Full send mode over at Estonia. Uh, so there you go. That is it for this week on Send It Sunday. Thanks to everyone for joining. Stay to the end, obviously, for the fun eclipse and the winner of Spot the Bail from last week. We had quite a few entries. So uh, just one thing left to say that uh, obviously, no matter where you are in the world... Don't forget to send it. Yes, I know you're all legends because you're still watching. If you're watching this end bit, you're my kind of people. You're supporting the channel. I know it. And you know who else is supporting the channel? These guys. Or is it these guys? I don't know, but they're there somewhere supporting Windsurfing TV. Yes, they've chipped in some beer money and they are total legends. You've added to the list. So thanks for your support, guys. It does mean a lot. There's a few of you out there who probably think, oh God, yeah, I should. I watch it every week. I really like it, but I can't be bothered. Go on, it's coming up to Christmas. You could support the channel. We're going into lockdown. You're gonna need us. You're gonna need us. Come on, don't watch for free. You'll feel better about yourselves. <laughs> okay, let's uh, tell you the winner of Spot the Bale. Obviously, it can only be a member, but we had a bit of a problem because the first one out the hat... Well, I'll tell you. Well, firstly, who... What number was it last week? What number was it? Yeah, these are the options. These are the options. And it was... Number six. Yes, it was number six. Um, and like I said, the first person out the hat was... All sports, but it doesn't say member. I don't know if he's a member, so we have to redraw. So you get another chance. So we did a redraw, and who was it this time? It was Edwin R. So if you're Edwin R and you're out there, I know you are because you played most weeks. Um, you've won yourself a hat, mate. Let me know. Send me an email and I will get your details and send you one over. Um, I've got to say, we didn't make a thousand likes last week. 
was a bit disappointing, I won't lie. We got close, 966. So if we'd have just had 34 more people, we would have made it. You know who you are. Press the like button, come on. Uh, we got 130 comments, pretty good, pretty good. We didn't make 20,000 views either. I should make it a rule. We need 1,000 likes and 20,000 views or we don't make a Send It Sunday until those have been hit. So share, do what you gotta do. You know the deal. Podcast coming up this week. We have got, we'll have to wait and see. It's out every Wednesday. Matt Check is back this week. Obviously, I did it last week with Matt Check. I thought it was pretty good. Some interesting stuff, Matt Check. He's been around a bit for a young fella. Um, I'm going to put up somewhere up here other videos. If you like them, you know, bits of the channel. Have a look at them. Lockdown's coming, like I said. You're going to need us. Stay tuned. More stuff coming.